Guaranteed, if you're looking for something fun this weekend, Theater Jacksonville and San Marco has a great show playing. If you've never seen them, they are so, so talented. So this one, hilarious. It's heartbreaking. It's going to take you through all the emotions. It's Big Edie and Little Edie, Bouvier, Beale, the real-life eccentric aunt and cousin of Jack Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. A really interesting story. I had no idea it was even out there. So joining me now to discuss this, we have Curtis Williams, Gray Gardens choreographer, Daniel Austin, who's playing Joe Kennedy, and then you, my darling, Amy Allen Farmer, mm -hmm. who's playing both Big and Little Edie. All right, who wants to give the, the synopsis quickly? Because I don't I don't think a lot of people know this story. <laughs> yeah, Jackie Kennedy cousins. Uh, they lived in a mansion in East Hampton. They had a really glamorous life, hosted Rockefeller's Gettys, but then they lost all their money, and so Little Edie and Big Edie ended up living in this mansion with 52 cats and raccoons. They became sort of internationally famous what hoarders. What happened to you, darling? Well, the mother got divorced, and she lost all her money, and they fell from fame, and they just made the best of it. They actually were on food stamps. A lot of people don't know really? that. Really? Yeah. For a I while, mean, they were on food stamps. And it's a true story, it's absolutely which is really amazing. Story. There's quite a following for it, actually, so based on the documentary. What kind of dancing and singing are we doing in this? Well, it, the I will say that the dancing is more of um, sort of body language. Like okay. you, you know, when you're playing a, a a factual person, you really have to become that person. Right, um, right. And the singing really it, it moves the story. Like there, there's not you know a big right, right. song and dance. It makes so, sense. Yeah, everything. They don't just break out in yeah, song. Yeah, they're not breaking out into song for random reasons. Okay. Every <laughs> single word is there to help push their story forward. Oh, I love that. So you really have to pay attention to the songs as well. You cannot zone out during the singing at all and no. probably won't want to when we hear you <laughs> sing. What was it like channeling this person that you probably don't relate to? It was a lot of work. It was a lot of watching the documentary, a lot of listening to lines and interviews, reading stories about her, trying to just get into her head a little bit. Right. And, and the costume that you have on today, what is This, this? is what Edie, uh, one of her famous costumes from the documentary, she calls it her revolutionary costume. Okay. And she kind of put things together with what she had. They didn't have a lot, so I think she took a lot of her mother's old clothes. And, yeah. she, and she had alopecia, icon. yeah. You take yeah, the drapes. Yeah. She had alopecia. She had no hair, so oh, she always so wore things over her head. That was part of her look, yeah, <laughs> right. to cover it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so what makes it so funny? Uh, you know, I mean, the, Edie was so eccentric. And right. if, if you've seen the documentary, fans of the documentary will know that she just would come out with all these crazy things. And, <laughs> and she would just dance around. And she was so excited to perform for the cameras because she always wanted to be a performer. Uh, so before she died, she actually knew they were working on this musical. Oh. And she was so excited because she said her whole life was about music and dance. So oh. there's no better way to tell her life story than through music. And did she pass before it was ever she came did, to fruition? She did, and they actually workshopped the musical here. Sarah yeah. Boone, the executive director of Theater Jacksonville, was part of bringing the workshop together before the show even went to Broadway. So it has roots here in Jacksonville. Wow, very cool. Yeah. Okay. I love you guys. I mean, it's it's so cool to be an adult and still be in a play, isn't it? <laughs> right. I mean, you know, awesome. If I could do it, I would do it because I am a talented darling. So. I know, but yeah. it's fun because everybody has real jobs and then this is something you all do as hobbies. It's your passion. So yeah. come support them because they really are truly, truly talented. So Great Gardens is playing tonight through the 12th and then the 16th through the 19th at Theater Jacksonville, which is just so much fun to go to to in San Marco Square. For a link to tickets, head to newsforjax.com. And let's do it. Oh, hi. You look absolutely terrific, honestly. Mother wanted me to come out in a kimono, so we had quite a fight. The best kind of clothes for a protest pose is this ensemble of pantyhose pulled over the shorts, worn under the skirt, which doubles as a cape. To reveal you in Capri pants, you fashion out of ski pants in a jersey knit designed to fit the contour of your shape. Then cinch it with the cord from the drape. And that's the revolutionary costume for today to show the polo riders in khakis and topsiders. That's what a revolutionary costume has to say. It can't be ordered from L.L. Bean. There's more to living than Kelly Green. And that's the revolution, I mean. Da-da-da-da-da. -da -da -da.